Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, Mr. Hernandez. Hi. How are you? ¿Cómo está? Fine. 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 Fine, thank you. Awesome, that's really good to hear. ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Um, excellent, because uh, it's a very sun, uh, mucho sol. <laughs> Ah, yes, it was really sunny. Okay. Yes. Okay, in hot, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, awesome. So, lo importante es que se secó la ropa, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. That's all right. Hi, everyone. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. ¿Cómo están? How are you? <gasps> Maybe. I'm okay. Was that a suspiro? Was that a... Are you signing? Hello, hello. So, um, well, thank you, everybody. I can see today we have Daniel. Thank you. We have Jennifer, Mirna, Mr. Rivera. We have Maybelline, Ceci, and Mr. Hernandez. So thank you very much for joining. Gracias por unirse, Kevin. Hello, nice to see you. So, gracias por unirse tú. All right. Comenzamos la semana número dos. All right. So, ya vamos casi a la mitad. Remember, son solamente cuatro semanas. Okay. And uh, la recomendación de siempre es si podemos avanzar en la plataforma. Avanzamos todo lo que podamos. Si es posible, terminémosla. All right. Y usted sabe que al terminar le dice... Um, Alcanzó el 80%, 90%, 100% y ya se puede inscribir en el nivel número 3. All right. So, y luego nos venimos acá para solventar dudas y prácticas, que es bien importante. But, eh, no sé si alguien ya avanzó bastante, you know, si ya revisaron. Mm -hmm. Un par me estuvieron escribiendo que iban por la sección número 2, ya con la parte de houses and apartments. Eh, ¿Los demás cómo vamos? Donado boy, en el lección 2. Perfecto, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Gracias, Maybelline. Um, ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? En la 2 también voy. Igual yo en la 2. Ok, perfecto, vamos en la 2. No se me van quedando. Ok, that's good. ¿Alguien ya llegó a la 3? Yo iniciando la 3. Eso, excelente, Mirna. Ok, ok, muy bien. Nivel experto. Ok, no, awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. pueden avanzar. Es mejor porque de esa forma venimos acá y es como ya tengo una idea de lo que voy a ver, cómo se usa y voy a practicar. All right. So, mm -hmm. but I'm really glad. Me, me alegra mucho que no nos vayamos quedando y que va, vayamos siguiendo también el ritmo. Right. So, we are going to get started today. Les comparto. I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Here. Give me a second. Okay. And so, this is. Station number number five. Um, this is the objective for today. La semana anterior comenzamos con las casas, all right? A describir un poquito lo que tiene la casa. Today we will continue with this. Um, it says here by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Vamos a practicar vocabulario, all right? Vamos a practicar también eh, un par de puntos gramaticales. And as always, comenzamos con una pequeña conversación here. Please everybody, get your microphones ready. Tengamos los micrófonos listos, so we can practice, okay? And please repeat after me. Excuse me, is there a gym in the hotel? Excuse, Excuse me, is there a gym in the hotel? hotel? First one on the first floor. Yes. 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 There yes. One on the, the floor. Floor. Great. And is there a pool? Great. 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 Is there, is there a, a pool? pool? There a pool? Yes. There is a pool on the roof. Yes. Yes. There is a pool on the roof. Is there a changing room up there? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. 
But there is a restroom. But there is a restroom. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Very good. Let's take a look at the ones, the words that we have. Is the regime, all right? So we are talking about gymnasios here. This is in the hotel, all right? And though the person asked also if, let's take a look, if there is a pool. Is there a pool? Are you not seeing it? So is there a pool? Yes or no? No. No, exactly. Okay. So no hay piscina. Well, actually, dice que sí, there is a pool, but está on the roof. Está en el techo, right? It is on the roof. So let's take a look at this. First, ¿cómo digo hay una en el primer piso o hay una en el segundo piso? Is there in the first floor? Or is there in the second floor? Okay, thank you. Okay, that's the question. Perfect. So, is there one on the first floor? Is there one on the second floor? So, es la pregunta. Ahora, ¿cómo describo qué es lo que hay en un lugar? Voy a utilizar there is. Y voy a utilizar there are para varios. Let's take a look. Vamos a la parte um, grammar here. First, vamos a contar. ¿Qué es lo que vemos que sea uno? Solamente uno. Can you tell me the ones that you see here que son individuales, que no llevan S al final? What do you see? There is a mirror. Perfect. Oh, you're using the structure. ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? Who was that? Me. A television. Okay. Thank you. Okay, very good job. Yeah. So, there is a there television. There is a refrigerator. Oh, very there good. Is there is a refrigerator. A Mm -hmm. There is a desk. A clock. There is, there is a bootcase. Very good. There is a There table. is a television. Okay. There is a bell. Okay. Excellent. Table. Okay, you're pro, guys. That is awesome. And now, los que vayan con uh, este al final, for example, curtain, ya no puedo decir there is, all right? Porque no es uno, son plurales. So, vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio y yo digo there are, there yeah, is, currently. lo cambio para there are. Y ya no digo a ah, porque no es uno, sino que son varios. So, puedo decir el número, there are two, there are three, there are four, there are five. So, first, antes de irnos al, al uso. Puede... Se Maybe. puede teacher, decir, decir es que there, there are many. Perfect, yes, okay, okay, very good. First, vamos a ver los plurales. We're going to take a look at the plural. Okay, ¿cuáles cuál son plurales? There are two chairs, three lamps. Um, okay, okay, okay. First, eh, para que nos sigan los compañeros, right, no se nos quedan two. Vamos a ver solamente los objetos que son dos, tres o más, all right? For example, armchairs, okay. ¿Qué más? What else? There, there are, there are curtains. pictures. Okay, curtains, pictures, lamps. 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 Thank you. Very good. Chair. Okay, chairs. Okay, very good. So, first, comenzamos por ahí. We go exactly this way. First, antes de movernos, vamos a practicar pronunciation. Get your microphones ready. Y repitamos. Let's repeat. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes, I am. Go. Good evening. Get your feet. Okay. Armchairs. 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 Stove. Armchairs. Stove. Stove. Armchairs. Stove. Pain. Musilla con brazos. Curtains. Curtains. Let's repeat, everybody. Pictures. 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 Clock. Clock. Bed. Clock. Bed. 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 Desk. Desk. Lamps. 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 Sofa. Sofa. 
Chaufa. 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 Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Table. 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 Okay. 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 Coffee table. It's a chiquita. Coffee table. Coffee table. Dresser. 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 ¿Qué es el dresser en español? Gavetero. Perfect. That's all right. Uh, let's go with mirror. Mirror. Rug. 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 O también Rug. se llama carpet. 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 Very good. Okay. Nice. Now, let's take a look at this one. Here, tenemos una pequeña descripción de there is and there are. First, veamos las bananas. All right. There is a banana on the table. Solamente hay una, right? Now, oranges. Veamos. One, two, three. Ven más. Do you see more oranges? No. Yeah. There are three oranges on the table. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué no digo there is? Porque hay varias. So, singular, cuando vean una, there is. Y utilizamos a or an. Or, lo voy a utilizar cuando hay tres, right? Now, strawberries. ¿Ven alguna fresa? Do you see strawberries on the table? No. 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 There aren't. There aren't any strawberries. There aren't any. Any, solamente es para decir ninguna. There aren't any strawberries. Watermelon. What is a watermelon? What is the meaning? Hello. Sandia. Uh, sandia. sandia. Perfect. So, ¿ven alguna sandia? Do you see a watermelon here? No. Mm -hmm. oh, there isn't any watermelon. There is. Ah, cuando hay una. There are. Cuando hay varias. All right. Let's take a look at the following. Here we have, uh, give me just a second here. Okay, perfect. So, for example, singular, we have here an apple, okay? An apple is porque solamente una. And we have here, si es una, oh, there is a book, there is an apple, there is, vean a su alrededor, all right? Donde están ahorita y díganme algo que solamente hay uno. Only one. Here, for example, hay una computadora. There is a cup. Okay, very good. Thank you. Otro there ejemplo. There is a television. There is a television, yes. There is a cell phone. There is a cell phone. Very good. Now, al, díganme algo de lo que no encuentren uno. Ni uno. Take a look. There isn't any. Vamos a utilizar esto y solamente cambienmelo here. There isn't any. Algo que no haya ni uno. There, there isn't, isn't any, any TV rug. Here. Okay, so there isn't any rug. Escuché, escuché por ahí a Mr. Let me see, let me see. Mr. Hernandez, uh -huh. there isn't any? Any TV. Okay. Good. There isn't any pictures. There isn't any pictures. Significa que no hay ninguna. All right? There isn't any pictures. Now, veamos el plural. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Are we good? Kevin, are we okay? Chicos, si tenemos dudas, if you have any questions, pueden utilizar el chat or let me know, all right? Me pueden interrumpir, no problem. Now, plural. What is plural? Cuando hablamos de dos, de tres, y los puedo contar. That's important. Una de las características de plurales es la S al final de la palabra, all right? Hablamos de cosas que podemos pluralizar, contabilizar, all right? So, for example, apples. Lleva S, indica que es plural. So, si hay manzanas, yo digo, there are some. Alguien me decía, y many? Of course, también se puede. So, there are some apples. Hay algunas manzanas. Digamos que hay dos. Puedo decir el número. There are two apples, all right? Mm -hmm. Tell me, ¿qué tienen en la refri? What do you have in the refrigerator? Que sean más de una. For example, en mi refrigeradora hay 
varias manzanas. Oh, there are some bananas. Oh. There are some many grapes. Ok, podemos usar there are some grapes o hay como muchas. There are many grapes. Ok, yeah. very good. In my refrigerator, there are many eggs. There are many eggs. Ok, yes. ok. Thank you. Volunteers. ¿Alguien más? There are, there are three sparrows. Sparrow. 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 Ok, you made me happy. Por un segundo pensé que eran como los, los pajaritos, right? The carrots. Ah, ok. So, carrots. Ok. What about rabbit? ¿Alguien tiene rabbit? No. 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 Radishes or, or rabbit? No, rabbit. The, the animal, rabbit. right? Yeah, the little animal. Yeah. Ah, ok, ok. Do you have cats? ¿Alguien tiene cats? No, no. I don't. No, dog? No, I don't. I no, don't have oh, pets. Don't. Oh, you don't have pets. I don't have pets. No, okay. Um, sorry about that. Me neither. <laughs> Yo tampoco. <laughs> right. I don't okay. have a cat. Oh, who has a cat? Yeah. I'm sorry, um, your name? Who's talking? ¿Quién dijo que tenía? Oh, Juan, John. All right. So, quiero decir que yo tengo un gato, right? You have a cat. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, ayúdenme con la oración. ¿Cómo sería? There is or there are? There is. There is a cat. There is. Perfect. There is a cat. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. hay un gato. Right. There is a cat. Very good. Now, let's take a look at the sentences. Vamos a utilizar solamente there is or there are. Solo eso. That's it. All right. So, help me. Fridge. La primera, fridge. Es otra forma de decir refrigerator. Yeah. Refrigerator es la forma larga. All right. Fridge But is the first. Es la forma corta. Ambos son mm -hmm. lo mismo. But for me, es más fácil decir fridge. So, okay. usted decide, right? Es lo mismo. There is a meal in the fridge. Fridge. Oh. Fridge. <laughs> All right. Es la hora de esperar los perritos, right? Okay, everybody. So let's take a look at exercise number one. Ayúdenme con there is or there are. Or si les funciona utilizar el chat, feel free. No problem. Number one. There are there are no meal in the fridge. Okay. Um, that's a really good there, answer. There, Thank you. There isn't. Okay. There isn't. Vamos a considerar lo siguiente. Primero, singular o plural. Vamos a revisar que tenga es. All right. Remember, una de las características es la S nos indica plural. All right. Correcto. Let's take a look. Okay. Milk. Singular There is no o milk. plural. Singular ah, o plural. Singular. 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 Entonces utilizamos. There is. There is. There is. There is. There is. There is. Okay, let's take a look. Vamos a utilizar solamente there is or there are. So, ¿por qué no puedo utilizar there isn't here? Porque ya dice un no. no. Mm -hmm. Puede poner doble negación. All right? So, there the, is um, no milk in the fridge. No milk in the fridge. In the fridge. Okay. Right. So, there is no. Es otra forma de hacerlo. All right? Next one. Mm -hmm. Vamos a la siguiente. Many rooms. There Singular are. Or there plural. are. Plural. Very good. So there. There are many rooms. That's okay. Next one. Mountain. What about this? Plural. One? Plural. There are. There, is mountain. there are. There are. There are. There are. are. Y le puedo. Okay. Okay. Very good. How many, How many are there? Le puedo agregar, there are many mountains, there are two mountains, there are some mountains. Le puedo agregar cuántas, right? It's fine. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, okay. Next one. One question left. Quiero decir que falta una pregunta. 
There is or there are. There is. There is. is. There is one question. There is, there is one, one question, question left. Yes. Great. Um, next one. Snails. Snails son animalitos. They are little animals. Okay. That do something like this. Que aparece en SpongeBob and the SquarePants. Es la mascota. It's the. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. It's the pet. Ah. Okay. Caracoles. 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 Good. Very good. Maybelly, casi no me escucha. Chicos, me escuchan. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Okay, okay. I thought it was yes, my connection. So give me just a second. Le respondo aquí rápido. Miss. Rich. Oh. Miss Julia. Yes, tell me. Snails, is the singular words or in plural? Ah, revisamos ahorita. Give me a second. All right. Revisamos. La característica de plural es S, most of the times. Letter S. Mm -hmm. Exactly. S and mm -hmm. So? It's plural. plural. There yeah. are snails. Very good. There are. Exactly. There are snails. So, eso no es como eh, siempre van a encontrar letter S. Ok. Por ejemplo, hay plurales irregulares que los vamos a revisar luego. Like, for example, person es uno. People son varios. Woman Man. es uno. Women, Women son varios. Exactly. Son varios. Uh -huh. Women. Men y man. <laughs> Good, exactly. But, esa es la característica general. Letter S indica plural. Now, la última una. We are missing one. Uh, Alguien que no, no se haya participado. There are six chairs. There are six chairs. There are six chairs. Perfect. Okay, very good. So, antes de la práctica de grupo, pregunta, do you have any questions? Your time. Mm, yes, I have. Uh, Daniel, tell me, what's your question? Um, it's about the incunable things. Um, okay. um, we are going to see this topic uh, um, after, or for example, the using about that, this, or... Yeah, the demonstrative ones. Yes, los van a estudiar después al igual que los contables y los no contables. Yep, porque es un poco extenso. So here is like, um, eso es como el, la introducción, right? Para identificar singulares y plurales. But yes, of course, si los van a ver, no worries. It's about, uh, we are going to um, check out about and uh, that, that I have in my house. Oh. Okay, take it easy. Okay, you'll do that in a second. <laughs> of course, of course. That's the la siguiente práctica. Don't worry. Okay. Um, besides Daniel, alguien más tiene preguntas? Do you have any questions, comments? No. All no. right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead. So. Um, as Daniel was saying, yeah, it's our time to practice. First, vamos a crear grupos. We are going to make some groups. Necesito que le tomen una captura, please. Eh, me, me confirma si ve mi pantalla. Please confirm. So, tomele una captura, please. Take a picture. Si es en el teléfono. Yeah. Computer, also you can take a screenshot, all right? So, and remember this, para los que sean individuales, all right, vamos a utilizar there is. Para los que son varios, for example, pictures, okay, uh, cushions, plants, or flowers, etc. Utilizamos there are. Les voy a, vamos a hacer grupos, vamos a hacer pequeños grupos here, okay, para que nos colaboremos, nos ayudemos y practiquemos, that's very important. And, necesito que describan su, este cuarto que ven ahorita. Por el momento vamos a describir este. Si tienen tiempo suficiente, aprovechemos y describamos el suyo, todo lo que ven alrededor. All right? Ready? All right. Ready. Okay. Yes. 
Perfect. So please join the groups. Vamos a unirnos. Let's join yeah. them. Okay, there we go. Vámonos a los grupos. Kevin, 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 Mr. Contreras, please, si me puede hacer el favor de unirse al grupo. There are there are, there are many pictures. There is there are a no, chairs. Chairs, uh -huh. There are plants. There are two windows. There is a sofa. Uh -huh. Very good job. Exactly. That's the way it is. Excellent. <laughs> uh, do you have any questions? Are, are you good? Are you fine? ¿Cómo se dice el Salvador?